Hello guys, I wish to take you through a demonstration on how you can come up with a simple freight booking system. Therefore, this is our graphical user interface of how our system will look like. We have, for example, we want to uh, first of all capture the customers. Therefore, you prior capture the customers or you can still do it from here. Like for example, you can capture, add new customer here, then add the details. For instance, you can add ID number. You can also add a customer here. Right now, you can just go to uh, Unis, 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 Gorobi, that. Then you capture the phone number of the person. Then, number of passengers, they will be traveling, like for example, they have four. Then, type of trip, we can have one way. Then, flight number, you will have captured the flight. This is the model, this is the uh, source, and this is the destination. For example, they will be traveling using this, this one from Nairobi to Dubai, that is flight number five. Then, after doing that, you just need to press either of these buttons or just uh, refresh. Therefore, if you check on this form here, this uh, risk box here, you'll be in a position to see that uh, we have captured the person. This is the, the person here. And then later on, this system will, uh, be, out the, uh, will be updated. Therefore, what you need to do here right now, we just go to uh, the next record or just use this here. That is the customer details. You just then go to the customer you want. Then you'll be in a position to uh, get the, the database updated here. Then uh, after having done that, for example here, you see now that units, uh, number of passengers five, then we have the one way we have selected uh, this one is activated and also the freight number one if you look at freight number one the freight number one according to the to the system will be the first one here this is the model number this is the freight number the freight number according to the system will be freight number one then you can also be in a position to go to the other part of the system here where we have the two parts of the tab we have the tickets like for example you can choose the flight number here that way then you can assign the ticket price for that one then the others will be automatically calculated on the other hand you can add flights from this module here you can just go to this module here and then you can see what i was uh, explaining that the freight, freight number one is model number five, source Nairobi and destination Dubai. Therefore, you can still check on the uh, destination source and the model of the airplane from this module here. Then, on the other hand, uh, you can also be in a position to look at this one. Like now, you want to see the receipt for this uh, this one here or the kind of payments that have been done therefore you can be in a position to view uh, this one and also this is another transaction and also this is another transaction you can also do a bit of mod uh, modification to make sure that the system uh, suits your needs therefore basically this is how the system looks like and if you look at the structure of the system you can just go to the relationships here. If I cross this one, go to the relationship, you'll notice that we have three tables. We have the freight table. We have the fare, that is the ticket, where we have the receipt number as the primary key. We have the fare, that is the ticket, tax, and total, and then customer number. Therefore, if I double click this, you realize that the ID number from customer table is related to customer number in the fair table and therefore there exist one to many relationship on the other hand we have customer and freight tables therefore if i double click you'll notice that the freight number in freight table and customer uh, sorry and freight number in the customer 
exist one to many relationship and therefore that one makes our system even easier to deal with if we go to the tables if i go to right click this one therefore this is the the customer table the customer table has the following fields and various data types therefore you have this one id number as short text then customer name cell phone number of passengers one way yes no multi city yes no so that we can have that option then the flight number it is a number here and then there exists the relationship using lookup wizard on the other hand we have the fare table the fare table or the ticket table we have currency you can see that these ones are calculated therefore these ones are calculated if you go down here you can be in a position to see the expression it is fare times the percentage tax that is for the tax then for the total you can see it is fare minus tax that one is also calculated field down here using the calculated field data type that is a very powerful data type remember you can also uh, watch my videos on calculated fields on how to perform calculation uh, calculations on tables then we have the freight if you go to the freight uh, table we have the freight number which is auto number that's why we noticed that our flight number one from Nairobi to Dubai was given number one. Then there is a very important skill here of using auto number. Let's just go to the field properties down here. Just, just see this. I wrote flight in quotes, then zero, zero, to initialize the flight. And therefore, when I run it, you see now the word flight starts, then the auto number follows in three digits, just like a I wanted it to have therefore this is the freight table then you also need to create a receipt query therefore the receipt query is where we shall use the filter this one here therefore forms customer it is reading customer form a field called id number that is what we run when this query runs it will actually filter that and then uh, we give the results accordingly then when we go to the forms, if I go to the customer form, this is the customer form. You can right click, go to design view, try to see uh, what is happening here. Therefore, we have um, we have a list box. This is a list box. Therefore, this is list 19. This is a list box. Then uh, on the other hand, this is the uh, this is the uh, tab. This is a tab. Then these ones are sub forms. Then from there. That is how our system looks like. And therefore, ladies and gentlemen, I will be doing the system step by step in my next video. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next session.